Hi friends, I'm just getting out of the car to go and get a tour of Casa Anastasia. It's a care home here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. And uh, before I go in, I want to show you the neighborhood. It's right next door to Mascaras Clinic. Casa Anastasia. right next door to Moscris Clinic and uh, upstairs they have some hospital beds. The doctor there is very well respected. Pharmacy. Another pharmacy. Uh, laboratory. Some other small businesses back in there. And over there is uh, Mom's restaurant. So let's go back and meet Tom. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This is Tom, and we're going to have a tour of Tom's place. You have a name for this, it's called Casa Anastasia. Anastasia. Yeah. And, and I believe you know why, because You've met Anna before she passed away. Um, this was built for her. She had Alzheimer's. Your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh... And I can't speak really well today because of my throat. But we we run a full uh, a full uh, care house as well as um, a place that a lot of people call extended living because eight of our people are extended living people. So, They're out and around all the time. would you characterize this place as um, independent living, assisted living, nursing home? Where do you fit into that, or is it a combination of them? It's a combination of, of the two of them, as I say. We're, we're kind of a nursing home. Yeah. Well, we are a nursing home. We have a nurse. We have we have nursing assistants. But right on the staff? Right on staff. 24-7? 24-7. Oh, great. We have two, uh, two at night. Two nursing assistants uh -huh. at night, a full-time registered nurse during the day and on call. And you're not right next door, one door away, 50 feet from Moscaris Clinic, which That's correct. is, is um, a hospital. It's a basic hospital, 24-7 yeah. uh, doctor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're 50 feet away. <laughs> well, let's go see what you got here. Okay. Well, uh, lead the way, Tom. Give us a okay. tour. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll do it. I'll tour. follow you. All right. Just. Whoa, that's nice. Yeah, this is this is the main part of our care facility. The rooms are on either side. Down here, there are eight rooms. Uh huh. Um, there's another. Um, Upstairs, there's six more rooms. So, eight and six, you have 14 rooms? We have 14 rooms, and we have two under construction. Oh. We'll take a look at it in a minute, too. Well? What people like about this, they can come out and read. We've got a roof over the top, so it's all weathered. Uh-huh. Um, the roof lets a lot of light in, give it a nice ethereal glow. She's talking about not a solid roof, but uh, what is that, like canvas or it's, something? It's sunbrella. 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 Anyway, yeah, it's really nice in here. And a nice cool breeze coming through here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tom was talking here, and we're going to miss some of that because I muted the sound. There was some very nice very pleasant and very recognizable music playing as we opened the doors and went into this room. And of course YouTube uh, doesn't like it when you do copyrighted music. So I've had to mute this because uh, right over there in that cabinet the music was playing. We'll listen to Tom explain the place uh, 
In a minute, I ask him to turn the music off, which we did. So you were saying this wall here is curved? Well, I just like this wall. Yeah, this wall. Curves. Oh, yeah, I see like it. This and the ceiling curves up. Yeah, it's not apparent. Yeah, it's, it's a not, great room. It's not apparent at <laughs> first, but it is. Yeah, it is. So is this the new... now. This is the new part. This is the new construction over here? Yes. And it's not been cleaned up yet. It should have been so it's going to be uh, two more rooms, one up and one down? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. And you're doing a stone wall. That's nice. Yeah, and it's a decorative wall. You can see we have, we have a little chimney in there. Further down we have a, a head of a person. Oh, you have the head of a person? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we need to explain that, Tom. Oh, that's just the head of a person. Yeah, I mean, a little step more behind the tree right there. <laughs> oh, there it is. You mean you mean like a mask? A mask. Well, it's, you know, people have a lot of negative things about Mexico. They they might well, have they, thought you actually put a head in there. <laughs> oh, the pool. It's very the pool nice. Is, uh, wow. It's made for a therapeutic use. I've got. Stainless steel bars for people to hold on to to exercise with. Oh yeah, and uh, of course there's other you know, tubes and stuff like that. And then um, we're in the midst of construction, so our garden area doesn't look very good behind the trees. But for the new two new yeah, rooms over the there. New rooms, right. And then I see you have a hot tub a hot covered tub up there. there. Right. Yeah. Takes about an hour and a half to get it very warm. Yeah. Too warm sometimes. Too warm? <laughs> sometimes too warm from the solar heat. Yeah. I have 12 panels on the roof. To keep so as we walk back through, Tom, tell me about the how much the rooms are and maybe we can look at one. Sure. Maybe I was going to ask her to do it. She's upstairs. So maybe she'll let it come in. I don't know. Okay. I remember that one. We'll take the elevator up here. The elevator? Okay, if it happens uh, upstairs, we end up with a gentleman full time in a wheelchair, uh, except when he's in the pool walking and exercising. Uh -huh. And two other people that are in walkers. So the elevator is most important to us. And here we are upstairs. Hello, puppy dog. When it started. Up here we have um, the six rooms. Uh huh. Let's see if we can get into this one right here. So this is uh, Loretta's room. Is that right, Loretta? Yes, I'm Loretta. Well, it's a very nice room. You have. A, I agree. Is that a television or a monitor? A television. Uh huh. And you got storage up there. Put your suitcases and. Nice storage here. You got your computer over there. So how long have you been here? Uh, almost for, uh, two months and a half. Yeah? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I'm gathering from the smile on your face, you'll like it. I like it very well. I'm very appreciative. I've had excellent care. I needed a lot of care when I came from the hospital. Do you mind if I sit on your bed? By all means. <laughs> Just don't hit my glasses. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I've been absolutely pleased as it could possibly be. Um, I've received all the care that I needed, plus I was given enough space, personal space, yeah. that I could also incorporate what I needed to do. In other words, all my time was not taken up with care. I could also. I understand. I, you know, I have. Uh, okay. I have. I had a grandmother who was in a facility, and 
It was 24-7, they were doing something, that's and she right. used to complain about exactly what yep. you're saying. And that and I think that she didn't have any time to herself. If a person is a person who's used to doing a lot of things yeah. and being busy, not to have that option would be bad. Right. Okay. Well, thank you for you're letting right. us see your room. Okay, mm -hmm. it's um, very lovely. It, it certainly is. You this might be able this to piece it. over here is interesting because one of the workers here, I understand, painted that in... Several of the rooms, is that correct? Well, this, this is the main room that's got this. It's uh, uh -huh. muy mexicana to have a painted headboard. That's right. Yeah, Very so nice. you don't need a headboard, yeah. you just need no, a wall you can right. paint it, yeah. paint a headboard okay. on. And, and this is your bathroom? I was looking at. Mm -hmm. You don't need to look at the garbage particularly. Well, all the bathrooms I'm admiring her perfume. I'm admiring your perfume collection. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and the closets are very large, which is very oh, important. yeah, the built-in closets and the built-in dresser. Very accommodating and extra. The two end tables give uh -huh. lots of storage space. These are mine. I brought them in. Right, but the rest of it is furnished. That's right. By the place. By here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. So, Tom, how much is a room like that? Well, um, the rooms, there's two prices really for rooms. Um, the rooms generally start about 1200 U.S. a month. Uh -huh. And then it depends on how much nursing is required. Right. If you need to be fed, you need to be changed, you need to be showered, all those things, the price goes up accordingly. Uh -huh. um, our, right now, our highest price is 1500 a month. So Probably if we get another person coming in requiring full care, I'll be charging 1600 Yeah. If, if they need care for absolutely everything. Right. And of course, our, our facility, like most facilities, offer the three meals a day, transportation around town, to doctor's appointments, to banks. Mm -hmm. Um, Internet? All, of their, all of their washing is done, and uh, mm -hmm. of course they have the swimming pool, and yeah. so there's quite a few amenities. Thank you for the tour, Tom. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I hope my nurse is back and we'll be able to talk to her momentarily. You can, it doesn't matter, but we do have, let's say, 24-hour nurse. Well, let's go see if we can find her. <clears throat> they even have a view out there, huh? So we're like, what, three blocks from the lake? About that. And what's this guy's name? That's Mr. Mystery? Mr. Oh, Mr. Hello, Mr. My dog. Oh, the, there's this thing on YouTube about content. Dogs are always good for view, YouTube views. <laughs> there's a the view that we get. Oh, nice the mountain cliffs and the mountain when it's. Oh yeah, and of, of course when it starts raining in June they'll be emerald green. What'd you say? She's not even here, but oh. there's there's another one here. Oh here. yeah. It's very nice. The bathroom is off off of the room. It's not That's inside a, the room. That room's much bigger. It is a bigger room. This room is bigger too because again his bathroom is off of the, Oh right. But Aubrey's got a lot of stuff in there, so So that's pretty well a walk around the place. Well thank you for the tour, Tom. Well, I'm editing this for you, and I thought you would be able to read that flyer. I took a picture of it, but um, in editing, I see that you can't. I enjoyed my tour um, of Tom's place, Casa Anastasia. So I was going to read this to you since you can't see it in the picture I took. Uh, Casa Anastasia Care Home, Our Amenities. Mission statement, to provide a family-like environment where individual respect, empathy, and caring are ever-present, and further to ensure each resident has daily opportunities and activities to optimize their quality of life. Um, 
our amenities. <clears throat> the pool uh, is a therapy pool, 24-hour on-site nursing, 24-hour on-call doctor, fully licensed, large private rooms, wheelchair accessible bathrooms, all meals provided, emphasis on healthy American style cooking, dietary and nutri nutritional plans available, personalized care, Wi-Fi and satellite TV available in all rooms, resident transportation, pets allowed, physical therapy programs, and cleaning and laundry service provided. Contact information, in case you're interested, uh, in Mexico, the telephone number is 376-765-5680. Or you can email them here. You can probably get that. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.